Yo, yo, welcome back to another video. This is going to be a how to. Today, we're going to be slamming the Mazda Speed 3. We're not slamming, but making a better fitment. Today, we just bought some coilovers. We're going a little bit budget on this one. We're going with some Rev9, I think, Super Street ones. So these are not too bad. Picked them up for $400 on eBay. We got the jack, we got the tools, we got the Jacksons, everything. So in this car, I'm running lowering springs at the moment. And right now they're not, um, the lowering springs, the shocks on this car are blown out. So I was like, might as well get some coilovers. So today we're gonna be changing them. First thing we're gonna do is jack up the car. And then from there, let's get to it. If y'all fucking with the content, make sure to like, subscribe. Comment down below what you want to see next. Let me know what do you think of this video. 10 out of 10. 1 out of 10. Let me know. Be honest. Let me know if I'm trying to work on something. Give me your feedback. If you fuck with it. If you think it's funny and shit, let me know. Alright, let's get to it. Three hours later. So we're gonna need, I believe, a 14 mil. We're gonna need 17. Um, 14 again on top. Another thing, since these are not like regular, like, say like my Honda over there, I got two bolts right here. I got two, two bolts right here, but this one, it's like a little sliding pin. Um, you need to pry it out from the back. So I'm gonna show that right now. So let me get all the tools I'm gonna need, and I'm gonna see how it goes. Okay, to take out this strut, all you need to do so you're gonna need obviously a ratchet, some type of prying bar. Yeah, I'm gonna use I'm gonna use this one real quick. Any type of prying bar, anything like anything skinny like this, this is where you're gonna need because you're gonna pry it over. I'm gonna show that in a bit. Okay, you're gonna need a 14 mil. 14 mil is for the sway bar link right here, sway bar, and then also um the top ones these are also 14 it's gonna be th three 14 mils and then a 17 mil for that bolt that connects it to the strut so you don't need to take off this bolt this bolt and the three on top remember to disconnect the sensor right here in the back Let's see if i can get it out the sensor right here make sure you take it out this whole unit comes out as one once you disconnect this one and then all you gotta do is take off this clip right here with any pinch, um, say like a little um, spin size and shit. You just take it out and it's just slide out. That's for the ABS or for the brakes, I mean, my bad. You just disconnected this. Like I said, it's just a clip. You just pull it out. The sensor, make sure you take that out. Everything else is pick and spam. Um, another thing I wanna say is that when, I, when you do coilovers, and especially in the fronts, I recommend lifting the whole car up from both from the front because if you do one side 
this sway link is gonna be super hard to put in if you're only doing one side at a time. So I recommend lifting the whole car front up. It'll make it 10 times easier. It'll slick in so easy because there's not as much weight on it. So it will just slide in because if one side has more weight than the other one, you, you won't be able to put that in. So that's my recommendation. You don't have to do that. It's just gonna be easier for you if you're changing it. But other than that, all we gotta do is take off these three bolts. These three bolts right here. And I'm gonna show you how to pry this out and we should be good. So, so once you take off all this stuff, the, the sway bar link on the bolt and the, whole, uh, the um, fucking brake hose, put a pry bar in the middle of that bolt you just took on the bottom, in the middle, right in the middle. You pry it, you keep prying it and you, and you put this down and look, it's already coming out. So you keep wiggling this, you wiggle, wiggle, wiggle and put some pressure and then push this down as well like move it back and forth and it should slide out super easy make sure the three bolts are still there um you do that last so let's get to it after a couple slids of that it came off nice and smooth so what i'm gonna do now is take out the three bolts put the new coil in um one thing to note the coilers i came with the bolts are a little too small, so I have to go put some washers. Other than that, that's it. All you gotta do now is torque the the bolt. This one's uh, like 30 foot pounds. That one's about 50. So other than that, we're good to go, and we're gonna work on the back. What up? So I just finished the back real quick. Um, I didn't get that on film because my camera died. So let me show you guys what to do real quick on the rears. So in the rears, so this is the wheel, right? Obviously obviously so, so the first thing you want to do is take off these two bolts right here those are 12 millimeter bolts this one and this one right after you take those two off you'll be needing to take off this 17 millimeter bolt so as you can see this is the whole entire suspension and brake take off this 17 you go under here where the shock is at which is right here you take off this 17 mil <laughs> so this 17 and this 17 and that's it you push this down and this whole unit comes down as one and you're chilling. The next thing you wanna do is take off this 14 millimeter bolt on both ends. You won't, I'm pretty sure you won't be able to do this unless the whole back two are up. Because once you take off one, you can't take this off. So once you take off both of them, you're able to slide this over. And once you slide that over, you this can freely go down. So, so again, you take off this, you take off these two, and then you're able to take this off. Once you take that off, it's simple. You just put the spring in there with the coilover. The coilover goes right here on the bottom. So this goes on the bottom. Put everything the way it came off. Bolt everything up. And you're chilling. You're good to go. Another thing is that that um, you can't just take it off regularly. You have to put an Allen one. So maybe go to Harbor Freight. Maybe you get um, the set. like a, It's like a 12-piece set. Put um, an Allen wrench on there. And then put the regular wrench and then you just gotta keep you just gotta keep fucking with it until you take it off. But other than that, that's how you do the rears. It's not as complicated as the fronts. The fronts are a little harder to put on. But yeah, that's it. That's all you gotta do. I'm gonna put the wheels back on. I'm gonna see how much it lowered and see what's up with it. So that's it for today's install. I hope you guys fuck with that video. Um, I'm probably gonna do a quick montage right now. Let me know what you guys think about that. Let me know if I should improve my montages or not. Cause honestly, I'm trying to learn that shit. That shit looks sick to me when people do that shit. And I'm trying to learn that shit, how to do rollers and all that. So if you guys fuck with the video, you guys have any questions, concerns, put that shit in the comment section to me answer that shit. Um, if you see that I'm doing something wrong, let me know. So other than that, here's a little clip of the car. If y'all fuck with it, let me know down below, like, subscribe, hit that shit.